Hey, what is going on? It is Wednesday, July 6th, 2022, and welcome to Chef the Algo Guy. Yep, it's me, and uh, I have a problem here for you, another problem, and uh, before I continue with this problem, uh, called Find Closest Number to Zero, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, it helps me, and it helps the algorithm uh, notice my videos, etc., and it helps me in a motivational way to produce new videos for you uh yeah so um yeah today we have a simple problem and uh it's good to do simple problems from time to time i did another one yesterday i'll ramp up the difficulty again but uh yeah let's uh let's just uh you know ease into things uh it's the middle of the week so um this problem is two two three nine find closest number to zero and the description says that given an integer array nums of size n return the number with the value closest to zero in nums if there are multiple answers return the number with the largest value okay and looks like a straightforward statement an example is negative four negative two one four eight and uh after going through each of these distance lines you see that the final answer is that the closest number is zero and the array is one and so in that pretty much makes sense right so um, if the closest number to zero is going to if you take a look at it going to be the number with negative or positive that has the smallest uh, absolute value okay that's that's all you really need to do check the number that has the smallest absolute value so there's a few caveats here right um, and edge cases to consider uh, namely, um, if the number with the smallest absolute value, uh, in this case, let's demonstrates it, uh, if there is no number, if there's a negative number and a positive number that both have the smallest absolute value, then you have to differentiate which one is larger because the second statement uh, of the problem is, it says the return which is larger. Okay, just quickly looking at the constraints, nothing about the constraints really matters a ton. Um, but we also want to note that there could be duplicates because it didn't say whether there could be duplicates or not. And if you're in an interview or something like that, you should ask things like that. Should or could there be duplicates to clarify? Um, could there be uh, no negative numbers? Could there be uh, no positive numbers? That's another important case. Okay, depending on how we write our algorithm. Okay, so the way I've framed this problem so far is that the problem basically it can be put in the context of the competition between the smallest positive number and the largest negative number okay um, again uh, it's in this case the largest po smallest positive number and largest negative number are equal so we default to the largest number of the two okay so um, let's code this up so as I said smallest positive and we start this at integer dot max value if you haven't seen that note before um, it's just a way of telling uh, our program that um, this is how we account for infinities using max values and min values okay just just account that way and so for now what we want to do again we can iterate through this array and we can look for the absolute values so again there's a few cases to consider and we will consider those so let's just iterate through our array Oops. Start length. Okay. And if so, if nums that length is less than zero, and nums that i is greater than largest negative. Okay. Then, in that case, we record a new largest negative largest neg negative nums i okay so again that's that's how we you know again we're looking at the all just the negative numbers and now if the number is positive nums i greater than zero right you'll see why i'm not including zero yet nums i less than or equal to okay. Two. okay 
if so in this case uh, the number is uh, we're trying to find the smallest positive number and we're accounting for duplicates here it doesn't really matter a ton in this particular case but it's just worthwhile to note and um, else if nums i equal to zero return nums i okay so basically yeah if we have zero zero is going to be the closest number to zero so there's no need for us to uh, do anything further right now remember uh, I did briefly mention edge cases so what if there's no positive numbers or what if there's no negative numbers then in this case the largest positive number uh, largest negative numbers will still remain negative infinity right um, and the, or the smallest positive number will remain positive infinity in those cases you can't do a comparison between the largest negative and the largest uh, smallest positive so if let's say this is another way of saying that there's no negative numbers in the array value then return the smallest positive because the smallest positive is going to be by default the number closest to zero in the array and else the opposite case vice versa smallest positive equals integer dot max value return largest negative remember this is the opposite case okay just something to consider and then return math abs this, and now this is where the logic of our original code comes into play here Okay, and this is basically just saying if the smallest positive number is larger than the largest negative number, return the largest negative number, right? Um, otherwise, uh, and that's the ABS, remember, the absolute difference. Otherwise, return the smallest positive number. That's just a ternary operation. So let's try it out. Let's see what's happened on line 11. Smallest. And cannot find symbol. Uh, smallest positive. Smallest. And I think that should solve the problem there. Um, and one more. Um, smallest. Okay, I should have just abbreviated these to begin with. Anyway, so that's the solution there, and there you go. That's the solution. So pretty fast linear time solution, uh, linear space solution. And yeah, that's it. So that's the problem for today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, again, like, subscribe, comment. I post the solutions uh, on the Leak Code Discuss forums. I write the solutions myself, and I post them on Twitter. Um, and the links are in the video description, etc. And finally, have a good day. I'll see you around.